Thanks very much. So the ladies will step aside for just a little bit as we now get set for the men's compound team competition. And we'll start off with the bronze medal match, Korea Very and good. Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, these, these uh, Korean men, they're getting pretty good. Uh, one of, I'm not sure which one. One of them is shooting later in one of the medal matches individually. It'll be uh, Kim Jong-ho. Yeah, and the gentleman there, Choi. I can't see his name. He won here last year. Cho Young Hee. Cho Young Hee won here last year. He did indeed. So they're not going to be a pushover right now. They will not be a pushover. Have not been a pushover all week long. Cho Young Hee, Kim Jong Ho, and yeah. Kim Tae Yoon. They were uh, five up on Colombia in the 1 8th round. They beat Turkey by four in the quarterfinals and then were stopped by the United States in the semifinals, but only by two points. So there's three very good archers in Cho Young Hee, Kim yeah. Jong Ho. Kim Tae-yoon, and they'll be faced by three excellent arches from Mexico, Mario Cardoso, Julio Ferrero, and Angel Ramirez. The, the team from Mexico, they might not be superstars, but they're hugely experienced. Uh, Fierro in particular has been yes. a long time. He's uh, the type of guy you don't want to come up against in the early, you know, if you're shooting against him early and you're a top guy. He's never going to give you an easy passage, and he's taken some names individually over the years. So, uh, Mexico compound archers are really strong. strong team. So, Mario Cardoso, Julio Ricardo Fierro, and Angel Ramirez. Yeah. They won a tiebreaker with South Africa, then beat the French team by 10 in the quarterfinals before wow. losing by three to Denmark. Yeah, that, that 10 point win over France kind of gets your attention, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, they've beaten two really strong teams to get here. Uh, and then they ran into the uh, the Vi team Viking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're shooting really well. Yeah, and they're, always, they're always a strong team. And they're always, you know, got a chance. Yeah. And of course, a lot of moral support in the crowd here from their Mexican teammates and yeah. friends yeah. as Mexico. And Mexico have had the harder route. South Africa, really good team. France, really good team. So, yeah, they've definitely won. I don't like to say the tougher matches, but on paper, this. Yeah. So. so here comes Korea, fourth after the ranking rounds. Yeah. This first end, I think, is going to be quite important in this match because, you know, they're not known for being out here, these teams. So they're not hugely experienced. They're going to want to make a strong start and uh, statement to their opponents. Kim Jong-ho with a great shot. Yeah. X marks the spot for Kim Jong-ho, whom we'll see later on in the individual matches this afternoon here on Archery TV. Second shot coming up for Korea no. outside the uh, 10 ring. So yeah, he is uh, last year's winner, Choi. And uh, he won it in style last year. From, so it's really strong. 30 years old, ranked 11th in the world. And as John Knott has mentioned, he won the gold medal here at stage three on Talia just a year ago. Yeah. And shows the yeah. form he used That's last he year. Did it, yeah, yeah he was, he shoots really well. So a nice start for Korea. And something to shoot at for Julio Ricardo Fierro. Yeah. Love his spirit. The, the Interesting they'd have him leading off. Um, I, I, I'm a believer in your strongest heart to shoot him first. That being said. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, everybody has one that I goes know, yeah. a little astray. Yeah, yeah, that's not ideal, but his teammates, I'm sure, will make up for that really quickly. Ramirez. Yeah, I find I like watching team orders and uh, seeing how teams organize themselves. Mm. And uh, as I said before, a lot of teams do tend to lead with the strongest shooter, uh, or sometimes their quickest shooter. But they, you know, um, so here's Mario Cardoso, who missed a bronze medal in Shanghai by 1.3 weeks ago. Yeah, he's in good form. Lost to Dominique Genet in the bronze yeah, medal match. This is a long shot, really long shot. He needs to get that away. Uh, he who hesitates. Yeah, yeah. It's, they're going to be under some time pressure in their second in now, Mexico. So that can play big into team. As I said about rushing your shot, mm -hmm. and then you don't make the shot you want to make. So. So here's Kim Jong Ho, the 21 year old, ranked 60th in the world. Now that's. 
Korea look really confident out there. Body language is really good. Uh, the, the Mexicans didn't look quite as, as confident, did they? Three X's on their first four shots, making five yeah. X's yeah, on their first six shots. <laughs> they don't get bonus points, but you get to say, oh, look yeah. how well we're shooting. I may have jumped the gun a little bit. Maybe it'll be five X's on the <laughs> first six shots, depending on what Cho Young Hee is able to do right here. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, right. That's pretty good. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five that's, tens. Look at that for confidence. It's not an X, but it's a ten. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they've sent a message across across to Mexico, and Mexico need to really get in going now. Nine. Shot across the bow. Yeah, if Mex Mexico, the best they can be is three down. They need to uh, dial it up a little bit right now. They need to get in the ten right now because I tell you what. The Koreans smell blood this early. It'll be a long 18 hours ahead for Mexico. <laughs> That's a much better shot. Ramirez. Ramirez, yeah, 10 10. For them. He's dialed in. Nine seconds. This guy is up against a lot of pressure right now. Five seconds. Yeah, his teammates be counting him down. Oh, oh he through. speeds it up by about 10 seconds and does a lot better. Wow, that was a great last shot for Mexico. And they, boy, did they need that. Mario Cardoso beats the clock, comes yeah. up with a 10 that his team sorely needed right there to keep the uh, Mexican team within three. Yeah, absolutely. They needed that. There's Ada Roman supporting her teammates. Aida, who yeah. shot earlier this week. We saw her at stage one in Shanghai. Yeah. If you look at the body language of the Mexicans, they're not quite as comfortable as the, uh, the Koreans who just Look like they're really enjoying themselves right now. <laughs> John, you've been out there before. You know what it's like. Yeah. Uh, can there be that much difference from one target to the uh, next? I mean, it's just a few feet apart, but is I, there I hear this all the time. And <laughs> you think it's rubbish. <laughs> it's only ever the losers who complain. <laughs> it was a, yeah. It, I've heard that you want to, people say, oh, if you're on the target next to the stand, mm -hmm. you've got an advantage. Oh, no, it's Bart. They, they, you know what sportsmen are like. Yes, I do. <laughs> you covered a lot of sports, and uh, I imagine there's similar stories in, in other sports. Although, that being said, we've seen two matches completed already yeah. this morning, and in the women's competition, both winners were on target number two. And they were also the highest seeds. <laughs> There you go, using logic. <laughs> Don't go using logic. I know. I, well, who's the highest seed in this match? <laughs> well, right now, as we look at it, Korea is the highest seed. Okay. They so, were fourth coming out of the ranking yeah, round. They've got a chance to disprove this theory, right? Now. This is true. You're right. Yeah. It, 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 Let's keep that in mind, all it right? It happened at the London Olympics massively. Uh, uh -huh. At the end of the week, they totaled up how many lefts and rights had won. And it was one more match and we'll one on the left over 100 matches. So it's psychological. It's Absolutely. all in our minds, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, it is in the mind. So much as this is a mental game. Yeah. And right now, the mental game will find out how strong Mexico is right now. Trailing by three and starting off with a nine. Yeah. Julio Ricardo Fierro, ranked 15th in the world has been as high as seventh in the world back in 2012. Now needing Angel Ramirez to pick it up. Yeah, he's, he's dialed in, Ramirez. Ramirez shooting well. In 2011, stage four in Shanghai, won a bronze medal and a team bronze medal. So you know he's capable, as is Mario Cardoso. Yeah, his, his shot timing's all over the place, and when he made the quick shot under the time pressure last end, he mm -hmm. was right in the center, but when he took his time, he was, yeah, they, they're not flowing, the Mexicans. They haven't got their rhythm going, and, you know, there's, there's, there's a real wide door there, and I, Korea might just go and jump right through it now and really hurt the Mexicans. Kim Jong-ho with a strong shot. Yeah, they only need an next swing right now, Korea. Kim Jong-ho yeah. won a team gold medal in 2014 at the Asian Grand Prix. Now here is Kim Tae-yoon competing well at his first World Cup event. They, 
right now, Korea are just right in it. They're in the zone, and uh, there's only one team shooting right now. They are locked in. Yeah. I, I, this I wear. guy, Choi, oh. he looks like the most confident archer I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> just a little bit low. But I don't think that'll shake his confidence. Yeah. Yeah. No. Supremely confident he team. Uh, I think it's really important that you, you know, you can win points. Fuerte, Julio. Ritmo. Fierro. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Sale. Sticks it in the ten ring. Yeah. When your lead archer starts with a ten, it does lift pressure because you've got that ten. You know, it makes a big difference. If you're searching for it, it's hard. Yeah, it's well contagious, done, you can he's see well, it. Yeah, he's well done. Yeah. He's shooting good. Ramirez, who's been competing since 2007. Yeah, it's a lot of years of experience. And he has been the strength of this Mexican team so far. As Mario so Cardoso. Chance to get one back. That's, oh no, not really. Chance not to lose anymore. Yeah, he needed that. Again, he made a quick shot right. then, and he was so much better. So really so Mexico coming through with three straight tens. Yeah. And perhaps mounting a little bit of a comeback. We'll yeah. see if Korea lets them yeah. back in. Yeah. Korea in command of this match but right now. Still. Kim Jong-ho with another ten. Yeah. He's tuning up for his match this afternoon. Yeah, he's shooting for the goal of bronze. Which one is he in? Should know that. <laughs> I believe he is in the gold medal match. Gold medal match, yes. yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's going to be feeling good after this show and stuff. Well, he is because we'll see the two Americans, Bridger Deaton yeah, and it. Rio Wild, in the yeah. bronze medal match. Yeah, yeah. and he's against Mike Slosner. Slosner? Yes. Yeah, he, he needs to not shoot any nines. <laughs> <laughs> against Mr. Perfect? Uh, yeah, Mr. Very Perfect. But he will have had. There you go. He will have had That's a slight edge over Slosner for that match, shooting in this match, sure. shooting well, being comfortable down here. And he's going to need every advantage he can get. And that's going to could be some match. Yeah. I'm not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree, but to me, John, that was impressive. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexico finally put three tens in, which they needed desperately, and Korea did not crack the day. So Mexico shoots 58 after opening up with a 56, yeah. Yeah. but Korea so consistent, 59 in both of the first yeah. two ends, and they now lead by four yeah. points. Mexico leading off now. Um, I know it sounds you know, silly. They've just got to shoot 10. They've got to get a run going. They can't have any wide shots, and they've got to try and put some pressure on Korea and see they can get one or two back in this third end now, they can make Korea think. But if they don't get something back now, the last six hours will just be exhibition for, for Korea. Any adjustments that you would suggest that okay. you can see that maybe they're discussing right now? Well, they're a bit all over the place in, in how they're shooting their shots. That you know, the, Their anchor shooter, is tape, you know, he, he's hanging on to that shot, trying to be too careful. But when he made a quick shot under pressure, it was right in the middle. So. Their, their coach should, needs to be joining them up and uh, just remind them to, to make their shot in their time. Uh, they should go in the middle. Uh, shoot a little bit more naturally. Naturally, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing about the big stage, isn't it? People don't do their normal sport. Because this is not what normally you yeah. are dealing with yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. When you're in a line. This is a stage right here. Yeah, this is a stage. and it, and that's the difference between being a really good national level archer who shoots on a line yeah, yeah, with 200 people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Standing out here with the crane camera, with the crowd, with George, you know, shouting out what your <laughs> opponent's getting and coping, coping skills. It's one thing to shoot baskets in your backyard. It's another thing to be in inside yeah. an arena with all yeah. these people that's a good watching. Shot from Mexico, they needed that. He had, he had to start his shoot, uh, team off with a with a ten. So a nice shot by Julio yeah. Ricardo Fierro. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of world champions in their own backyard. On the on the big stage with the bright lights, yeah. and Angel Ramirez has done very well here. Yeah, on good. this big stage. You see, they they've sped up. 
set loads and their, their, their shooting's improved. Now let's see what Cardoso does. He had good experience in Shanghai. Oh, yeah, he did. Only lost by one point to Dominique Genet. Yeah. Almost yeah. got oh, a bronze medal, but again, held it a long time and ends up in the eight ring. It's just making it easy for Korea. You know, when you sat on the lead and they still want to shoot the tens, but the, there's no penalty for missing the ten. So it just makes a little less pressure. And that's what it boils down to. Just outside the ten. Yeah, that's his first uh, nine. Anyway. Kim Jong Ho with a nine. And here is Kim Taeyun, a two time gold medalist at the 2013 Asian Grand Prix. Oh, nice. Nice. That's the same spot. I just looked across to see if the bags are uh, changed at all, but still a little bit here, but it would, it would take them left, not right. So here's Choi Yong Hee. Won a mixed team bronze medal at the World Championships in Torino 2011, and that's three straight nines. It's a real let off for Mexico there. But, and a missed opportunity at the same time. Mexico gains a point. Get a lifeline. <laughs> call it a lifeline. They need another lifeline. Yeah. But they need yeah, to get yeah, it done yeah, themselves, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fierro's found it now, which is good. They really needed him to, to shoot his game. Fierro, very experienced, won the bronze medal at the World Cup Finals in Tokyo in 2012. Yeah. Now Ramirez. Ten, ten. Another ten. ten. This is really good. Vamos Mario, vamos Mario. A little bit of time pressure. Termina enfrente, Mario. Acuerda. Mario Cardoso. Doesn't look as though he's aware that there's any time pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Taking his time with four seconds, three seconds to go. He lets it fly. Yeah, see, he's, he's better when he hasn't got a lot of time to think about it. When he's under the gun, yeah. yeah absolutely. So to speak. Yeah, big time. Big time. So that should make Korea think. We need to plug, plug that up right now. The plot doth thicken? Yep. We'll see. Yeah. Kim Jong Ho, big shot, big shot. Trying to burst the balloon of Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. So for the excitement of the match, we really want a nine. <laughs> what will the 22-year-old Kim Taehyung dial up? Another ten. Yeah, it's back in the X ring. Yeah. Choi Young Hee. Trying to make it three in a row for Korea. After they started off oh, with three time. nines. <laughs> Barely got it off. Yes. Barely got it off. That, he looks so calm then. Considering that was on one second. That, what, to him, me yeah. worry? <laughs> yeah. I imagine he was getting a very strong countdown from uh, his coach there. <laughs> Any time now. <laughs> That's, that is really good um, shooting there by, by Korea. So just one back, three points, will that be? Yeah. Yep, three points, 175 three points, to 172. So. Yeah. so Mexico was able to pick up a point in that yeah. third end. Five tens and an eight for Mexico there. That's uh, uh, three tens, three nines for Korea. Yeah. Mexico. Still Need facing a uh, yeah, yeah, big mountain to climb right yeah. here. Yeah. It's just about applying pressure. And, you know, if we get to one second again on, on Korea's time. In the front row. Yeah. Yeah. So Korea trying to make amends for last year's loss here in Antalya. Italy beat Korea last year in the gold medal match, 228 to 225. Dale, Luigi Korea, Dragoni, Stefano Mazzi, and Sergio Pagni putting Korea away. But now Korea trying to come back and get the gold medal that eluded them last year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at stage one, three weeks ago in Shanghai, it was India defeating France, 234 to 230 for the men's gold medal. Yeah. So. But could Korea hang on? Fierro 
Leeds Pero lo Julio, de lo mismo, vamos. Now, Leeds team strong. Excuse me, I stand corrected. It wasn't the gold medal, it was the bronze medal. That's what he wants. That's that. Makes it a little bit better. Ramirez shoots second. Vamos, hijo. So Fierro plants one in the ten ring again. Yeah. He, he's really dialed in now the last few ones. Ramirez just outside. Yeah. Every. Vamos, Mario, vamos, Mario. Ten, no, Mexico. I mean, you have to three points in six. There's no, no, room. no margin for error at this point. Cardoso. Sigue empujando. Empuja izquierdo. Long shot. Yeah. Yeah, no. I don't think that's good enough for Mexico at this point. And at this point in the match, they've got. Basically, that gives Korea two more points to play with. So they've got five to play with in six. Kim Jong Ho. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Going for the jugular. Shot a lot of X's in this match, Korea, and that it's an impressive amount of X's so from the Koreans. Especially in the opening <laughs> round. He's taken six shots. Yeah. Well, seven shots. And has missed on all the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's brilliant. Just saying to oh. Mexico, sorry, the door is currently shut. It's over. <laughs> Essentially, unless so there's a, a time, major collapse. Time. time is always a factor in team, but mm -hmm. Mr. Choi here showed that he only needs one second. Of course, you <laughs> never know. <laughs> you <laughs> never know. Although Brilliant shoot in there. Yeah. Yeah. So there's your five point lead. And that's what Korea is so good at when they, in the pressure situations, they just know how to close the door. They really They do. keep pushing. They do, yeah. There is no let up from Team Korea. Yeah. Nine. 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 And he looks pretty frustrated. Dele ritmo, Dele. Dele ritmo, centro. Apúntale, es lo tuyo. Apúntale, Julio. So Ricardo Fierro has shot his final arrow. Ramirez about to let Sal. his Nine. fly. Final arrow from Mexico. <laughs> And so Mexico will not be able to mount a comeback. Cuatro, tres. It would appear. Two yes, seconds to go. Ten to finish. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, shooting with just a few seconds yeah, left. He's great. Yeah. He shoots his best shots. He does. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, so this is exhibition stuff now, really, for Korea. They just got to make their shots and not do anything. <laughs> Just a matter of how much. Their uh, right hand target face they're shooting at now has only got 10 in it. Kim Taeyun, two time gold ha! medalist at the 2014 ha! World ha! University yeah. Championships. Uh, hit to win. And you get the feeling that Cho Young Hee could do this with his eyes closed. <laughs> That'd make him more excited. <laughs> Let's go ask him. <laughs> He's that confident he'd probably have a go. There you go. I have yeah. a feeling he could have done it with yeah. his eyes closed. Yeah. He's just, he oozes confidence, doesn't he? He really does. He really does. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you see that in so many of the Korean yeah. archers, yeah. men, women. Yeah. It's just part of the system and the way that they're yeah. trained and brought up. And of course, the competition that they have internally within their own country. Yeah. Just qualifying for teams to go to events like this. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, you, it's crazy calling the Korean newcomers, but they are newcomers to in the compound, compound world, yeah. into the World Cup. This is only about the third or fourth season. So, and every year they're getting a little bit stronger. And they're getting more confident in it, and they're expecting to win medals now. Uh, you know, but uh, to be honest, Mexico never really took it to the Koreans in that match, and they they didn't shoot. The Koreans came out, started with a barrage of tens. Mexico didn't. They let the Koreans get away, and the confidence rises. The Mexicans are frustrated. They had a little go on the, on the third end, but it wasn't enough. So never really put the pressure on. Them.
Too little, too late yeah. for Mexico to try to come back as Korea wins at 235 to 228. John not right on the money as Korea jumped out to that three point lead in the first end, 59 yeah. to 56, and really never yeah. looked back. 235 in a medal match is, is good, really good. Out here on the beach as well. There's a little, you know, the uh, windsock has actually lifted, but <laughs> yeah. not enough to cause anybody.